much much trouble is afoot in the um city of of uh i almost said Waterdeep in the city of Baldur's gate it would seem <clears throat> Waterdeep's a ways to the north uh yeah just a bit uh but there has been much trouble in the city of Baldur's gate there have been um the strange occurrence of the um the vanishing of the city of uh, Alterel uh, to the west, and uh, seemingly a uh, disappearance of the captain of the guard of Baldur's Gate, the um, the flaming fist that was in the city when it fell and has not been heard from since. Um, so there's been sort of a, a refugee crisis in the city and also worry about uh, possibly Baldur's Gate being next. There are some rumors, so people have been trying to leave, people have been trying to get in, but the city is basically on lockdown and the Flaming Fist is having a lot of trouble uh, controlling things. Um, and thusly, the uh, the party, after a uh, failed heist attempt that left them all with some scattered memories uh, of each other, uh, were enlisted uh, as uh, essentially deputies of the Flaming Fist, to go out and while um, all this chaos was happening in the city, uh, try to track down and eliminate the threat, or some of the threat of the cults of Dead Three, or of the Dead Three rather. Um, and I know where are the names here. It's a uh... Bane oh, Ball uh, and Merkel. Bane Ball and Merkel that are uh, 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 murder, I believe, tyranny. And then mm -hmm. on death, respectively. Uh, so the party was given, um, uh, following up on some more information from their contact, uh, did a, some light surveillance of a um, a seemingly fairly innocent bathhouse, but that had had rumors of uh, cult activities in its upper levels. Uh, they went in, and what followed was a somewhat awkward um, series of massages and baths. Um, uh, until uh, Alaric found a a small slit in a in in a wall, this little unevenness uh, that might hint at a secret pa passage, that was then further investigated um, by uh, Istalil and uh, Arwen, and revealed indeed a passage down to the depths of a secret dungeon below the uh, below the bathhouse and extending beyond below the city, um, where. Through various trials and tribulations, uh, the party fought off cultists of uh, most of the Dead Three at this point, I think, uh, and have found uh, various sacrificial altars along the way. It would seem this is most certainly a hub of activity. Uh, they've been fairly pressed and have uh, run most of their resources dry, uh, and I believe when we last left off, uh, we had... Um, just finish a fight, which was uh, preceded by finding two prisoners, uh, one of whom was uh, was unfortunately passed away under the uh, the hood that they were kept in. Uh, the other, an older tiefling woman, um, was moved slightly away uh, from the coming battle to the the safety of a uh, a little alcove down the hall, um, where they then the the party then proceeded to join battle with uh, a few more cultists, quite heavily armored cultists that left uh, the blood hunter Istolil uh, unsteady on his feet, and most of the rest of the party with quite drained resources. However, during the course of this, uh, Lissa was able to cast a sleep spell and. Um, uh, neutralize one of the cultists who was then very thoroughly manacled and chained to the wall where the prisoners were previously being held uh, and now the party find themselves in a uh, in the depths of a dungeon with very little left to defend themselves and a uh, nefarious cultist at their mercy one health <laughs> one health <laughs> I am sitting at one health a very wounded drow boy. Not having a good time. I am the ultimate tank. Keep telling yourself that, son. <laughs> well, I kind of currently am the ultimate tank because my three friends are squishier than me. I believe we were going to try and get information out of this dude. 
I think so. All right, so you, you've hooked him up into the restraints that unconscious to you, like, woman, you're not sure if she's still unconscious. You can hear a bit of movement coming from back there, but that might be the room full of awful. So you're not entirely sure. Should we drive her back in? Yeah, probably. She may well be safer in here than out there with the uh, fiends at the doorstep. Oh yeah, there there was that one person in like the hospital looking area that you guys just snuck past. So you know there's at least one other person in that direction back in the dungeon. This yeah, so yeah, so it probably is a better idea for her to come back into the room with us. I guess Easter will go and fetch her because she is unconscious. All right, yeah. You you go to pick up the just nude and beat to shit tiefling woman, and she she just sees you come out and like very clearly not resemble the cultists and stuff that came here before. And she just blinks, and she goes. Well, how they got you too? Uh, technically, we got them. Shit, this is the first good news I've heard in weeks. Uh, he's gonna motion for her to be quiet, and then over to the door, and then motion for her to come back into the room with them. All right. She she very shakily gets up to her feet. She's having to lean against the wall pretty hard. Oh, uh, Isola will go over and help her into the room. Yeah. Yeah. She's appreciative of that. She's still very distrusting and not too keen on going back into the, the torture dungeon. <laughs> oh, uh, Isola will hand her his cloak. All right, yeah. She just kind of wraps it around herself like a towel. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. It's, I, I know this room might not hold fond memories, but we're safer in here for the moment until we get more information out of this one. She, she just looks at the guy who's coming to and looks across the room at the rack of implements. <laughs> but she just how, goes to sit did... down against the door. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, is she reaching for implements? She's she thinking just... about it. <laughs> is Phil's gonna pull his hand crossbow out and put a bolt in it, and he's gonna aim it at the dude who's coming to you. All right. Is he facing the wall or is he facing you guys? Probably be facing us. Yeah, that's up to the up to people though. Is it just hands or hands and legs that are bound? Both. He cannot <laughs> move anything. <laughs> it's it's like a Saint Andrew's cross situation if you're familiar oh, with that. Radical, yeah. So yeah, arm restraints, leg restraints. <clears throat> yeah. Is there anything you guys would like to do before the sleep spell expires? <laughs> I'm just going to have uh, keep a listen and a watch out this side, this corridor. I feel that we should consider how we are going to approach this situation. If the uh, previous 
dark dealings that we've seen in this dungeon give us any indication, and if my knowledge of cults leads me anywhere, it is to believe that this man will not be forthcoming with information. Probably. In any case, we have been given permission to kill all of them. If he wants his life... Would we... Shall we have a conversation about how we feel about killing a bound man? I know that we have our rights to, but I do have some misgivings towards that. Perhaps right. we can keep him here and uh, haul him back up to the surface with us if we manage to leave this place. That sounds fair. As long as we take into consideration our new friends uh, feelings on that and he's going to emotion to the keepling woman oh I see and who are you exactly oh vendetta vendetta I see would your name give uh, any uh, hint as to your feelings to this individual Uh, you know, at the moment, pretty much. Pretty much. Who would see him dead, then? No. <laughs> then, not, then not at all. Death would, be, death would be too easy for somebody like this. And she, he just looks right at him, and he looks right back. <laughs> Like, you notice that he's he's not even trying to get out of the restraints. There are several of you here. There's a body that's just right there. Mm. So yeah, he's just not saying shit. Well, my lord, if you would like to try the talking, you can if you'd like. Uh... Alloy kind of gives him a look, uh, both to the guy and to um, East a little, and then just goes to lean up against one of the uh, the back walls further away from the guy. All right. Well, my bound and cultist-like friend, I don't want to know anything about your organization. I don't want to know anything of your secrets. I just want to know the layout of the area ahead of us. Is that information worth your life? He's just not talking. <laughs> of course you're not. Anyone else want to give it a go? Um, I go up. Um, I just, he's probably my height if he's on the floor, so I don't even need to kind of like kneel down or anything. He's probably at eye level. Um, you know, I'm sure none of these people really care if you live or die. Um, the only way you're going to get out of this is by at least telling us something. I mean, as much as whatever you're dealing with here or whoever you're worshipping you think is important, is it willing to die for in this generic place? First off, this isn't a generic place. This is holy ground. Oh, you see, he does talk. Holy ground to who? Nah, talking. I think who is quite apparent from the 
several uh, grim little uh, altars that we found along our path. Mm-hmm. Oh, so all three, not just Baal or Bane or Merkel, these people worship all of them. I imagine each has their specialty, but they seem to have a united cause. What's your relation to the establishment above our heads? It's just an entrance to here. What do you want? So none of the owners, none of the uh, proprietors of that establishment know that this exists? Is that what you're trying to tell me? They're not around when we come through. I have no idea. I see. Quick insight check on that. Go for it. Uh, 21. Yeah, you're pretty sure. Well, you don't necessarily know how much this guy in particular knows about who has what information. Mm. But it, w it would stand to reason that at least one person knows that this place exists. Like, that that secret door was not excellently hidden. And if people yeah. are coming and going all the time, then somebody's got to be in on it. Okay, cool. I'm just going to look towards him. Could I uh, pull Lissa aside for a conversation? Kind of, like, turn around and go towards the other side of the room wherever it be, would be out of this outside of this guy's earshot. Yeah. And, and as as Zalrix is trying to get your attention, you notice that this guy is looking at you like very uncomfortably, Lissa. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I might uh, ask for a moment of your counsel, Lissa? Yes. It seems this individual may be um, less pliable to most mundane means. I was wondering if between the two of us we had anything um, magical that could be brought to bear to perhaps loosen his tongue. Um... could make him scared, but I don't think I could make him speak. Can Fear you? is not unuseful. I have a, a few things I could offer myself, but I wanted to make sure you're on the same page in these matters. What page would that be? I'm not comfortable with uh, either leaving this individual to the hands of uh, what was her name? Vendetta? Something with a V? Or with having him killed here. I'm not sure what her companions make of it, and I'm not sure what you make of it, but about that I was Hoping to reach a consensus. Okay. Well, I can't say my feelings are as strong as yours, but I will go with what you want. I see. Well, let us see what we can extract out of him then. He does seem somewhat unnerved by you. I'm sure you noticed. I I spoke to him, that's why. Ah. Hmm. Perhaps you could leverage that to your advantage? Maybe. Seems like he's not used to it. 
I shall leave that to your discretion. Uh, shall we? Yep. Okay, head back into the room. All right. Does anyone else try anything? Uh, no. Uh, Selman's just waiting for you guys. Yeah, I'd probably wait to see you both come back in before I start to do anything. We we have returned. Come up with any ideas? I was going to ask this lady here if she wants to talk to. Don't know about that. She seems. Uh, I apologize. You seem that you may not have uh, the clearest judgment of intent. At the present moment, I don't feel that that would be too out of line to say. I'm certain you've gone through significant uh, mental and physical trauma. However, I'm not sure that justifies leaving this man at your mercy. You you just you just see her smile a little bit, but like it's it's the sort of thing that you get when you're reminded of something funny rather than like up to some shit. I see. Okay. Do you have anything or anything to offer as of the Goings on in this place. Was that to Vendetta or to your captive? To to Vendetta. Yeah, there's a, a lot of people coming and going. Um, there's I I could hear the the wall moving just outside. I could hear the wall moving just outside of here. Like that way, and she points mm. to where you guys have noticed, like the little trickle of water and the secret door that comes through. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, so that's something we were aware of for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Well, I suppose it couldn't be the worst idea in the world to see if we can make uh, this individual more pliable. Now, I understand that you might not have too much to offer, but I'm sure, perhaps, uh, you understand the need for these restraints. Uh, I'm certain you can look past that, and we can have a conversation as friends, yes? <laughs> You're so polite. You're trying so hard. It's cute. I'd also like to cast you on person. <laughs> I'll fucking go for it. <laughs> it's it's done. He's, he's got roll DC something or other wisdom save DC Who fourteen. Is that? Let's see how this goes. Uh, oh, that's an entire six. <laughs> oh, no. All right. You have successfully charmed this person. See, me and my friends just want to have a reasonable discussion with you. I'm sure you understand that, don't you? Yeah, it makes sense. Of course. Now, I'm certain some of my friends have uh, questions that they'd like answers to. I shall leave the floor to them. I think it would be good to know what dangers lie past this corridor. <laughs> I 
<sighs> well, for one, for one, there are other people here. That's a thing. You gotta watch out for those ball folks. They could be anywhere. How many? Like here, right, right now? I don't know. There's at least the one that was taking a bath. Come on. You might want to leave. Just for your own safety. You're all beat up. You might want to go. Why? Like I said, you gotta watch out for those ball folks. Which, uh, out of character, which one is Ball the god of again? Murder. Moida. Moida. Uh, they're the one, are they the ones who've been, like, playing dead? Mm, sorry, you cut out. Were those the guys who played dead, or were they the ones in armor uh, stabbing the guy with the spear? They, they were the, the ones that were playing dead were the Merkel ones, the ones... Yeah. Most of the people you've found in here are Bane ones. Yeah, those are those two previous guys, and now this. Yeah, one. yeah. The only the you haven't actually had interaction with any full associated people, but you did find the one altar with the entrails on it. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, the symbol was like that skull that was surrounded with like red. Blood drop looking gems and stuff. Uh, I have a question for you, friend. Up ahead or nearby, was there a place that you all rested? Yeah, it's just down the hallway. Which door? What are you looking for? Just a place to put our feet up for a little bit. Ooh, I wouldn't recommend that. Like I said, there's more people around, and the ball people don't take too kindly to intruders. They're probably watching right now. Oh, that makes me paranoid. Can I do a perception check? Go for it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you you are just paranoid. You can't hear anything, but you're paranoid. I hurt. I hurt a lot. Yeah, the pain just kind of makes it hard hard to focus. Um, I ask the guy, are there any quick exits back to the top of the bathhouse from here? Functional, no. Some of them have caved in. We don't use them anymore. Are there any other exits at all aside from the one at the far end of this complex? Mm, we've always come in through the bathhouse. I see. What, well, out of curiosity, what was your intention with this lady here? And I point to Vendetta. Yep, she she actually answers for you. They were trying to get information about the people that I work for, and just shrugs a little bit. I'm I'm just a run runner, rum runner. Oh God, words! I need something to eat. <laughs> I transport alcohol. That's a way to say it. That's not gonna mess me up. 
I don't know why. Well, perhaps our friend can provide some illumination. What were you trying to learn from this woman? Why would you be interested in a smuggler? Well, we're always looking for blackmail. Blackmail for whom? Well, for all the patriarchs. And you can see Vendetta, like, putting up her hand like a school kid. <laughs> I'm uh, not a smuggler. I work for the Othuns. I'm, I'm a traitor, not a smuggler. <laughs> well, the two, those two lines are fairly blurred in Baldur's Gate. I do hope you'll uh, forgive me for my presumption. No, no offense taken. So you seek to defame the noble houses of the city. That's not especially original. For are you, are you seeking simply financial aid? Are you looking for something more? Oh, we're just looking to see how much terror we can cause. Mm. The Duke is out of here. It's like, this is the perfect time. Would I know who the Duke is? There are four of them. The, mm. the, the one that he's probably talking about is the Grand Duke, Ravengard, who runs the Flaming Fist. Ah, uh, okay, so the Duke is in... The, the Captain of the Guard has gone missing. Then. Yep, yep. Oh, we've recently come into a bit of money, and it's expanded our recruitment efforts. So we're just trying to get people interested. And where did that windfall materialize from? Places. Places? No, it just showed up one day. I give him a very serious look. <laughs> and then I give Lissa a very serious look. I don't know where it came from. I'm just a guy. Of course oh. not. I can understand that. Are any of your seniors here? Probably. Would they be in the rooms further down? Probably. I don't know how many old people have you murdered. <laughs> There's a secret passage down the stairs here. Where does it go? It goes to where we store our stuff. What stuff? Yeah, stuff. Like food, Look. like torches. It's where a meeting room is. So it's where you store your supplies? Yeah. That's good to know. And he's going to look at everyone else. Well, what now? Do we think we have all the information we need? Probably as much as we're going to get. Yeah, I don't think we'll get much more from this subordinate. Oh, sorry, did I miss anything? Are we done with the interrogation, or did you have more to add? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I, I'm all right, I think. Well... Well, 
Hmm, Lord Alaric, this would be... What would you like to do with them now? Don't see why you're asking me, but... If it were my decision, I would gag him, bag him, leave him here, and uh, come back, should we require more information. Or otherwise, if we're leaving, we should take him with us. Well, are we leaving, or are we going forward? I'm of the mind we should try and find a, a safe place to rest for a little bit. We're already here, and there's no saying that once we leave and come back that they won't be here anymore. You did get that the bathhouse exit is the only exit they're using. Mm. Oh, okay. as far as this guy knows. Yeah, that's true. Even if they are still here, it will be more dangerous when we come back because they will know that someone's murdered a significant portion of their people and they will be on, more on guard. Mm. But on the other hand, we're very tired. And I don't know how much further we could get. We could make our inquest into the uh, bathhouse above more official. We are acting on capacity of the Flaming Fist. We could declare that the establishment is uh, closed for business. Make sure to keep a guard of the one entrance that there is. Perhaps see if we can uh, rally some of our other companions. Take a uh, respite and uh, see what awaits us when we come back down. Again, as you say, Lissa, there are dangers associated with that, however. But probably not as many as staying. True. I agree. Maybe if we can go and speak to Zodge or get one of get some kind of guard detail on this place ASAP as soon as we leave, so mm. no one goes into it. Well, we were sent here as the sole people to be looking into this. They don't have the resources, as far as we know, but I suppose if we could send someone with word, it might not be the worst idea. Send a boy, as one does. Which means we can ask this one to come, well, we can bring this one to the surface with us. Alaric? Yes. Out of the corner of your eye, mm -hmm. like, you're, you're talking to the party, but you're also keeping an eye on the prisoner that you've got. But out of the corner of your eye, you swear you see the one body on the floor move like it's been nudged. Hmm. You're the only one who notices this. Hmm, okay. Hmm, one sec. Uh, I point this out. Uh, I, uh, Alaric has a startled look and says, call me paranoid, but I think that body might have just moved. I'm sorry, what? Body, the in the corner, get, body, body in the corner, get away from it now, everyone. Wait, I look towards. I look towards the the cultist. Is he making any weird hand motions? Nope. Okay. Oh, that the body. one that's right next to me. Okay. Yep. Oh, the one next to you. I thought it was the one in the corner. Yeah. Okay, no, I would have. Cultist one. The cultist one. Okay. Not the rando dude who was probably whipped to death. <laughs> Good to know. Crossbow hand crossbow is pointed at the dead corpse. Do we see it move at all if we look at it? Nope. 
I'm going to cast Chill Touch on the corpse. <laughs> All right, you cast Chill Touch on the corpse. It continues to be a corpse. I look at Alaric. Did it move like it was moving, or did it move like it was touched? Like, I suppose like it was moved, perhaps. Oh, crap. Uh, hearing that, uh, paranoid because he's got one hit point, um, Istalil's going to aim above the body and shoot his crossbow into the hallway. All right, make an attack roll. What? That's, what that's, a, that's a that's a 20 for some reason. Roll your damage. <laughs> All right, 12 points of piercing damage. Yeah, th- impressively, the crossbow bolt actually sinks a little bit into the limestone brick. <laughs> you don't hit anything. Uh, yeah, I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was a I very good something. shot. You showed that wall who's boss. <laughs> I, I thought we... I hit something invisible. I think we might well, need to move now. Yeah. We did say we were being watched. Uh, can I quickly try to uh, gag and put a bag over this dude's head before we leave? You sure. I'll, I'll try to do that. <laughs> Both things are very readily available. Hell yeah. Yeah, he he gives you a look like, why, man, as you're doing it. Mm. Vendetta, are you coming with us? Yeah, I need to get out of here. Oh, wait, should we take this guy with us? That was what we were going to do, wasn't it? Okay, wait, take never what? mind. We we're going to take yeah, the guy the, with us, right? Yeah, yeah the That's chain dude, we were going to... Okay, still gagged, but no bag over the head. <laughs> Here's the thing, though, is we did have to sneak past some dangerous things to get here, so if he makes too much noise, we might have to neutralize him. Of course, for the moment, and I give him, I, like, reaffirm eye contact with the guy, we're still friends, so I think at least until we can get above ground, we should be. Uh, his compliance should be amenable. That's a weird way of phrasing He's things. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's what you hear him sort of say that. <laughs> <laughs> Saying something. It's like... <laughs> okay. Let's... Uh... Let's 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 head up, I guess. All right, so you guys are sneaking your way back through all of yeah. this stuff. Hell yeah. Yep. Definitely keeping an ear out for that person that you saw earlier. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mm-hmm. actually think because of the way we've come and the way we know the layout, wouldn't we be able to go a different way to avoid them altogether? Um, I'm going to ask you to make an intelligence check. Because the other route is a closed door. So it's going to be about how well you remember the layout of this place. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So intelligence? Yeah. That's something that... Oh. That's something that anybody can roll. Okay, yeah, I will as well. Even worse. The same. <laughs> Nobody can roll to save their lives. Well, you know, 12 isn't about. Mm-hmm. Two oh 12. god, That's a 3. <laughs> oh no. no. I secretly try to guide you back to the things that I haven't explored yet, because it's shiny. <laughs> yeah, this place is just confusing going on. This is a place for dead people. This is not a place for the living. So yeah, you remember the passage? You remember where you came? 
but you don't seem to recall any shortcuts that might exist. All right, so we will very quietly go back the way we came. All right, we get some stealth. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm not rolling my real dice. That's why I'm rolling so badly. Ooh, that's a got a 24. That's pretty impressive. Nice. Oh, shit, I got to roll for Vendetta. Oh, she did good. Does the guy need to roll as well? Oh, yeah, you're bringing him with. Mm. He also rolled good. Hey, nice. All right. Yeah, so you guys are super, super sneaky. You come back through the hallway with all of the catacombs and stuff like that. You go past the really weird smelling room mm -hmm. that you kind of have to hold your breath in. You come back through the... Eerie, eerily lit room with the green flamed candles and the writing on the wall that just says rise and be counted. Right, yeah. Jesus. Yep, you go back around through that curved hallway to the Bane altar where that guy was getting stabbed with the spear a lot. Are those corpses moving at all? Nope. They're just there in the water where you left them. And the three doors, and you can make your way back upstairs. Before we, as soon as we get to the top, I say to uh, maybe Stoney, if he was in the front, um, just check that the receptionist isn't there before we start booking out a gagged and tied up body. Uh, sure. He, uh, Instalil will peek out to see, make sure no one is, uh, is there. All right. You, you open the door just a tiny, tiny little bit. The, the massage therapist is there folding towels. <laughs> And he is going to look back and motion for the others to be quiet and let them know that there's a person in the room. Well, we're, we're planning to declare ourselves, aren't we? We were operating covertly before, but now I think we're, we're taking over the, the establishment for the time being. Do we have the authority to do that? I, he points to the, um, the flaming fist. Uh, badge on his lapel pin and your lapel pin. Well, I'm not sure you have lapel pins, but... No, it's just like, attached to my armor. Oh, yeah. I believe we are operating on authority of the Flaming Fist. We can't leverage that. Well, and you did send that other guy back up here. That's true. Oh, they were probably quite confused about that. <laughs> Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll just open the door. <laughs> Alright, the, the person who had already heard little bits of this conversation. <laughs> we were whispering. <laughs> you were we whispering. Were super stealthy. <laughs> you were super stealthy, but you're also several feet away. I assumed we moved away from the door. <laughs> but I guess not. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I just love talking so much. Yeah, but like they're they're just folding towels, and when the door opens, they're just like, "Okay, shit, I gotta, I gotta go." <laughs> You'll go nowhere. All right, they stop. This is this is the same person who worked on you, Alric. Oh, I see. Oh. Hello again. 
you were the you went to college. Yes. We're here on authority of the flaming fist. Please round up your colleagues and point us in the direction of your manager. She's just just looking around for the manager. <laughs> Um, um, he's downstairs. Downstairs, as in a jerker, a, a thumb back towards the hidden door. She just mutely nods. I see. Well, I believe that you should, uh, perhaps sit very tightly. I look back towards the, <laughs> the rest of the group. I believe we have um, need of some reinforcements if we are to be taking in this many individuals for being complicit in cult activity. Right. It's still just going to make his way into the room so that he can just sort of heavily lean against the wall. Oh my god, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> that's what happens when you are, deal with cultists. Are you okay? Uh, no, I am not okay. <laughs> and okay, he's going man. to slowly slide down the wall and sit. <laughs> Yeah, she she's gonna get you like a damp washcloth. Armin's just gonna saunter over to the front of the bathhouse, and if there's a sign that says "We're open," it's just gonna turn it to say "Sorry, we're closed," <laughs> and then just walk back. <laughs> All right, you do so. Uh, is it possible to to flag down some other flaming fist people, or? Uh... Or just see if see if we can make contact with a contingent of guard somewhere. Sure. Um, for the sake of brevity, going on here. Mm. Um, what could this be? We also very securely tie up the dude before he the before right. the charm effects wear off, <laughs> and we do put a bag over his head this time. We brought some along with us. Mm hmm. Um, I'll say, like, either persuasion or intimidation to try to get some other Flaming Fist people to watch this place. I'm taking my hands off that particular ball. <laughs> Who has good charisma? Uh, I, su I suck at that. <laughs> I was going to say, we have a sorcerer journey. Oh, yeah, let the sorcerer with the big starey eyes do it. <laughs> Just the eyes that see straight into your soul. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, you, you guys can find... You, you guys find, like, a group of four Flaming Fist members that are just doing a patrol nearby to come and watch the three of them come to watch the entrance to this place and one of them goes off to report this to their superior mm. can i get can we get one of them to come in and can we get all of the um employees and preferably the like whoever's here that is staff and might have known about this stuff mm -hmm. just to sit them all in a room like preferably in an enclosed room somewhere and get this guy guess get somebody to watch them yeah yeah you you gather all of the staff into the other massage room. Cool. All right. So people that are across the street in the cafe. I don't know if Greg is back, but. Oh no, Greg's Greg back. Oh, Greg okay. is back. Hell yeah. Yeah, people that are in the cafe across the street, there's a lot of activity going on in the bathhouse. We can just see them from across the street. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people coming and going. So More guards are brought. Like, have we just been, like, chatting? 
<laughs> I like the idea of like. No, go ahead, Gray. Um, I like the idea of like I sat down and then you sat down and I noticed that you were also religious and I slowly started moving <laughs> tables towards you. <laughs> it's like ah, uh, hello, fellow Can religious you person. You can't even actually make eye contact. <laughs> Yeah, we just have been having a, a coffee and, you know, or an, what is it? It would be like an ale. This is real D&D. &D. You're, ha you're having a fantasy Irish coffee. Hell yeah. You're having a Chultian coffee. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so if I see the knuckleheads across the street... <laughs> Just generally causing a ruckus. I'm going to uh, gently put a, a hand on top of on top of very sweet Agony's hand and say, "If you would please just excuse me for one moment, it seems that I have some business to take care of." Would you like company? Hmm. I feel like in this particular situation, the more hands, the merrier. Does your particular order allow you any semblance of arcane healing? Some. Well then, your assistance would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And I will stand up and follow uh, Requiem to the, the door. Just two religious ladies <laughs> sitting two. five feet apart because they're not gay. <laughs> two big horned ladies. Both of them over six feet tall, over seven feet with the horns. <laughs> Five and a half horns between them. <laughs> Hell yeah. But yeah, once I get over there, who looks... I guess it's, it's still a looks the worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would think so. So what happened? Cultists. Many, many cultists. <sighs> If only it hadn't been in a bathhouse. I don't think I really could have stealthed my way in there. I'm gonna take a, a, a hand. I'm gonna s s gently pat you on the forehead, but it's, you know, you know, patronizing when your parents, like, when you were a kid, you did something stupid, and they just, like, kind of patted you on the forehead and were like, you tried, sweetie. <laughs> Yep. But ba dump, ba dump, ba dump. That is six points of healing for you. <laughs> I'm at seven health. <laughs> Yay! You see, uh, our come out from a back room. Our requiem. So good to see you again. And what the hell is that? Uh, point to Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea has <laughs> wandered in through a window. <laughs> Chelsea peeks out through a hole in the in the multiverse. Um, I'm assuming you're pointing at me. Yes. I just look down and like touch my side and then look up at you. It's a whip. Hmm. And whom is the one that wields it? My name is Bittersweet Anguish. <laughs> Alric looks so tired. I see. I mean, you can't expect to leave me alone and for me to not make new friends while you're gone. And is your new friend ordained by the Flaming Fist as we are? No, but she is ordained by a higher power. 
I look, oh, good. To, I look oh, towards. I look towards hmm, this newcomer. And what power would that be precisely? Uh, I will move so that you can see like the side of my kite shield and emblazoned on it is like a gold burnished background with a jackal head on it. You can make a religion check if you like. I, I will if if an explanation is not forthcoming. Uh, can anyone? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just like show it at you, like yeah. Okay. Never mind. I'm I'm too hurt. <laughs> Small boys. Forty club. too much to think. God, Arwen's too smart. Mm hmm. All right, yeah. I, I Alaric, you think you've seen this before, but it could honestly be any number of deities. Mm -hmm. Arwen, you're like, oh, oh, this is this is an Anubis thing. This is a god of death and judgment thing. But like one of the chill gods of death as opposed to Merkel, which is a god of undeath. <laughs> Or Baal, god of causing death. Yeah. So Arwen, Arwen says, um, hmm, Anubis, the second god of death I've, I've been looking at today. There are many gods of death. <laughs> there are many gods of death. Yes, I might have seen one when I went unconscious before. Well, you're conscious now, and... I've requisitioned. Do you have a nickname that you prefer? I've never had need for one. It is a bit of a mouthful. It's like if I had to say Alaric's name, th the full thing every time. <sighs> My eyes. It's, uh, it's still the old laughs. I suppose sweet would work. Oh, I'll that's think very, of it. That's, that's, that's very cute. I'll, I suppose I could think of something. But I've re I've I've requisitioned uh, sweet's help. If anybody else has any ills they need fixed. I think of just a general rest would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Is everyone at full health aside from Mr. Lil? Oh god no. Okay. Alright. Well, whoever whoever looks like they need a a pat, I will give a pat. Bat bat bat. Are you alright? Uh, uh, I will take a pat. Jay? I'm fine. But yeah, if if you guys are taking a bit, you guys can roll your hit dice. It's gonna need to roll hit dice first before I'm choosing already the spell. I think we already did that. Yeah. We already used our hit dice. All of them? We only have two. Yep. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Hold on. Where Where is my cure wounds? There it is. Yeah. Okay, so... needs, who all needs? I have one more cure wound. Who, so who needs oh. it? Who needs it? Uh, when I think. Yeah, I'm. I could do it with that one. Oh, thank you. There you go. Seven whole hit points. Does yeah. anyone else need some? I mean, if we, after this, are going to be taking a rest... No, I think it's just short rest and some healing spells. Don't okay, we? then I will take another healing spell as I'm only at seven. Rock, paper, scissors? Oh, does anybody else need it? Because I will let someone else take it since I already got lay on hand things. No, you got you got cure wounds. So I still have a lay on hands and another cure wounds. You could do some of those sweet lay on hand points. I could. That is true. Because what is it? It's paladin level times five. Yes. That's... So you have ten at the moment. Yeah. So hey, have some of that juice. You've got the juice. You've got the juice, Easterlil. I've I've given you the juice. 
Okay, uh, so that takes it to 17. I am good at 17. I'll look back at all those cultist hunters and say, what is our plan now? Are we just going straight back down or are we coming up with some sort of plan? Well, I think the plan is to, with bigger numbers now, go back down there and do what we were supposed to do and find their leader. Yes, as far as we know, we've only taken bites out of the operation. It would be good to know that it is uh, disrupted permanently. Um, what are you doing with the uh, cultist right now? Uh, he's probably tied up somewhere. Or was that, sorry, was that in character? No, that was out of character. He's, he's tied up somewhere. Awaiting arrest Awaiting when arrest. there are more guards. Oh, I see. Um, so in character, I will point at him and then point at the group. Is he necessary? Why? I could extract information from him if you wish. Mm, I think we extracted plenty of information from him. Now he's just to be arrested. Yeah, he's also, if, if it's been a short rest, he's also much less happy about being tied up now. But he has a bag mm -hmm. and a gag on his head, so. Oh, uh, how is our other, how is Vendetta? That's a point. Yeah, she's she's talking to one of the other Flaming Fist people that you got in here. That is just like wondering, like, hey, can I go and get some medical attention? <laughs> Am I free to leave so I can go to a hospital? <laughs> and then preferably uh, a diner? Be that as it may, the man was not cleared by me. I mean, do what you want, but we should be getting back down, babe. As soon as we can, yes. But if you feel the need to try and extract more information, by all means. Um, yeah, I want to go up to him. I uh, step between Sweet as they approach the dude. What? What are your intentions? Do you intend to cause grievous bodily harm? Because I don't think that will bring you anywhere. Do you want answers to your questions? This man has no more answers for us, as far as we're aware. He's also very well versed in the methods, methodology of torture. I will take a step back. Fine, but if he has information that he could have given us and something happens to you as a result of not having that information, don't say I didn't warn you. I shall hold myself entirely accountable. If there are more cultists, I suppose we should kill them. Oh, okay, yeah, so as we're going down, I will say to Bakrian, we did find, so we are obviously in the dungeon, uh, in like an underground part for the Dead Three, and there has been some altars that we've discovered, one with a certain 
scripture above it per se. Um, I, I assume it's of significance to specifically that deity. Um, as we go down, I just will pass them, won't we? So I'll just show the altar with the entrails, etc. Because I might have read about stuff like that, but that might know there might be a, some more religious connotation for our religious people. Oh, I'm being mad. No. Oh, oh really? Is the is the text in common? Yes. Oh, the rise and be counted. Yes. Yeah. And which which was the oh it was was it the altar of Baal that had that? It was the altar of Merkel, I believe. Yeah, it was the altar of Merkel, Merkel. and it's just ri written on the wall above the altar with these candles that give off green light, and it's just painted in something black. Yeah. And what does it say? Rise in and be counted. In in all caps. <laughs> in common. Could I do some kind of religion check to see if I know any lore? Go for it. Can I get some fucking lore? Can That's I a give 24. you lore? Oh god. <laughs> Mama. All right. Yeah. Death cults, they're a fun thing. Yeah. I have approximate knowledge of many things. You yeah, do have approximate knowledge of many things. It's just a subject of interest going on. This you you've seen specifically this phrase before. It is it's like a prayer. It's like an invocation. Good to know. Mm -hmm. Does it, what does does it have like what does the be counted mean? Like what is what is ball up to? This is this is Merkel. Oh, what is the, Merkel? The... What's, what's Angela Merkel up to? <laughs> <laughs> Angela Merkel really wants you to join the skeleton war. <laughs> Angela Merkel is recruiting for the skeleton war. In all seriousness, that's what it means. <laughs> it's like join the ranks of the undead army. Yeah, I'm going to turn back to Arwen and I'm going to say, And you said there were bodies down here. Some, some because of us. Um, mm -hmm. And because of us. the one that we found in the pool just on their own, which I think was a bit earlier in the cave, that we just seemed like some random person face down in some water. Yes. Next to the uh, altar with the entrails, but it would seem that the entrails and the individual are not the uh, same source. Hmm. I don't believe it's a good idea to be killing anything down here. That would be bad. What's our alternative? Removal? I don't know. Um... It seems that dead gods don't want things to stay dead. So why would their altars have any exception? You did a good job bringing the one cultist upstairs alive, but you may have made a mistake. Look, you weren't here. We did what you had to do. And I apologize for that, but now that there is no need for any deception on the upstairs level, I'm here to assist, as well I, as I can. I don't believe any of the individuals down here will come along with us willingly. Bloodshed may be unavoidable. Especially as they definitely outnumber us, and we're still not at our strongest. I don't think killing them will make their numbers go down. It's worked so never. far. Have the body have the bodies we've been passing, are they still dead? Mm-hmm. I can I motion to the bodies. <laughs> can I start decapitating them? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we've already been through this. Oh, God. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, there oh, is. Journey oh, decapitated yeah. like three of them. No, 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 no. <laughs> Journey didn't decapitate them. Journey well, just he destroyed them. Caved some skulls. He yeah. went into a room with a with a flail, and there were d hideous squelching sounds thing. and crunches, and then he came out. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't here for that, so I no. didn't know. Yeah, yeah, this <laughs> room right here, this room right here where I'm hanging is just full of brains and viscera. Yeah. Oh, then never, yes. Then never mind, if that's already been taken care of, I won't No, bother. no, that's only those three, though. We haven't done it to yeah. any of the rest of the people. Mm -mm. Here's the thing, though, that was very traumatic for all of us. <laughs> it was traumatic for Istalil as well. <laughs> uh, that's what I said. As we walk past the suit of armor, I'm like, and here's where the the fist knocked me unconscious, just just come alive on its own. And then we go past the coffin, and I, I peek around to the coffin and say, "If you look there, you'll see a spiritual axe that that will try to kill you as you go near it." That was another thing. Just like a tour of all the destruction that we've been through so far. Yes, might I also advise everyone to be on high alert? Our cultist friend above advised us that the cultists of Baal are likely to be hiding in the shadows and watching on every move. We should be prepared for a surprise attack at any moment. Uh, I'd like to cast Detect Magic with my... Yeah, I'd like uh... to do a Divine Sense, too. All right. Um, we'll we'll say that you guys can get back to where the interrogation room was. So, like here, if you can put your Hell tokens yeah. and shit. You guys know to be quiet by this point. All right. The, uh, so, was are those p people still there? Um, the the corpses continue to be corpses. No, the person that we snuck past. Uh, oh, the hospital area. Yeah. Um. Actually, not there. Mm. Okay. Man, we're also clumped up now that there's six of us. Cast your detecto stuff. Oh, right. I can do it as part of a class ability. Detecto um, magic. Detecto magico. All right, 30 feet, and you've got that going. You don't immediately sense any magic within 30 feet of you. Okay, I'm just going to keep it going. And Divine Sense. Celestial Fiend or Undead. Who? Um, that is not behind total cover. All right. You do not sense anything of that sort. Oh, wait, hold on. It's not behind... Oh, fucking cover? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I'm so used to fucking Ranger Sense. Yeah, where it just, like, pings... Mm -hmm. The whole the whole world. Right, do we want to move ahead to the next Chambert? The question... Oh. Sorry, <laughs> I had, I need to change my push to talk button. You but do. my question is, um, do we want to go through the secret passageway or go down the stairs? feel like maybe the secret passageway because we know that of those three doors at least one of them's dangerous probably and more than all of that time yes yeah so at least we could check out what's through the secret door and see if there's another way around uh it, he did say it also this passageway leads to their supplies and their meeting room a meeting yeah. room did he say that you mm -hmm. did say that. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, may as well. Hey, what am I talking? Oh, oh where's okay. Lisa? Oh. Someone hit me. 
All right, I guess uh, East Stolil will lead the way through the secret passageway. Yes, Requiem, perhaps make some use of that armor of yours. I believe our dear friend East Stolil has had taken quite a bit of punishment today. Oh, is I thought Requiem was wearing robes. Uh, Requiem is wearing robes, but armor on top of them. It's oh, by like... all means, please lead the way. <laughs> <laughs> I will take up. I will take up the rear because I'm also in armor and also haven't been hit. <laughs> I'd prefer to have you in front of me, or I can clearly see you if you don't mind. If you don't mind. I just was offering in case something came up behind us, but very well. How considerate of you. So, which which way are we going? Where are uh, we going? This way. This way. Oh, up. Yeah, secret passageway. Yep. Ooh, chomp. Kazam. Chomp. Yeah, the the water here is pretty deep, and you guys had noticed that coming through here, there are some patches of this place that are just like two feet deep of just rank sewer water. It's not a good experience to be traversing. Hey, uh, um, if we are back to you. yeah, <laughs> yeah, if we're back Why to two not? feet water, we have no backpacks. No backpacks. Yeah, yeah. I crawl up oh. on Mr. You have, you have, you have small backpacks. You have one um, no backpack. I'll jump on that, week. Hell yeah. Right. And if uh, Arwen wants, I can hold on to you. Yep, I'm already already climbing up before you even ask. Yeah. <laughs> like, right, make room. I'm just saying, if one of the gnomes wants to hold on to Rex's horns, they can. Like, what I, I was also gonna ask, <laughs> offer the same thing. I'll stay where I am, thanks. No, we have a very deep bond, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, what is this room to my right? Or what is this thing to my right? There is a door to your right. But more than that, so in here, there's the water. There are some support pillars that have definitely seen better days. They're just all damp and not meant for this wet environment going on. And from coming here, you're definitely getting the sense that this used to be a very old crypt going on that was unearthed. Mm. Can I listen at that door? Yeah, basically as soon as you guys came in here and a little bit before you opened the door, um, you can hear from like around the corner, you can hear the sounds of just like, just like something hitting something metal and something hitting flesh, and a lot of splashing. Oh no. There is some activity going on in here. I would like to unsheath my weapon! That's probably a wise decision. What weapon do you use? Uh, I yeah. pull out this long falx, which is like a, a curved blade that kind of looks like an inverted katana. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, an edge on the inside curve, basically? Yeah, basically. Cool. Gotcha. Uh, I'm going to have my rapier out, and I'm going to activate my right of the storm. Nice. Keeping it away from the water. <laughs> yeah, be careful with that <laughs> one. <laughs> Okay, and I don't subtract any more health until I take a long or short rest to activate my sword again. I am good. Mm -hmm. I learned my lesson. Yeah. I subtracted too much health last game. <laughs> yep. Or Blood like, hunters are weird. They are. The only, like, it's only if you get, like, disarmed or you drop or something. Mm-hmm. 
Anyway. So is three, that three folks in the front slashing sound through the door or in the other direction? It it seems to be coming from around the corner to your left. Stealth rolls. If you like. Please don't make me roll still. Yeah. I don't know how we've, stealthy we could be in splashing and water. Yeah, we've got some heavy armored <laughs> people. And there's a bunch of you. Yeah, I think we should just go. Onward! Do we want to pop this door first? Before we go to the left? Yeah, I, I would like to peek in. Alright, you peek in. Let me just reveal it. Any time that there like looks like there's full cover, I'm gonna just like stick my head around the edge of it, like get a game of hide and seek just to see if there's any fucking zombies. <laughs> Basically the same. You're doing that. Okay, okay. I'm using my laser eyes. You're using your laser eyes. Yeah, you can use it. It's one plus charisma. You can use it several times. Yeah, requiem, requiem. You're Is you're taking song? you're taking a quick look in there. Yeah, you can sense several sources of undead presence in this chamber over to your right. Hold on, let me zoom out on the map. Uh, over here? Oh, yep. we all pinged it at the same time. You place. don't see anything! But it's there. I'm going to turn back around to my companions and alert them to the fact that there's some undeads in there. Just very slowly close the door. <laughs> this door must not be opened. Uh, I have some rope. I will even tie the latch down so that it can't be opened from the inside. All right. Are we just leaving those there? Don't dead open inside. <laughs> For the <laughs> moment, if we fight them, whatever is up ahead will come running. We don't want to be surrounded. I have a spear. I could just stick it in. I could just stick it in. No. <laughs> you could go spear fishing for zombos. <laughs> I could go spear fishing for zombos. Yes. Do you use Gray? Do you use a uh, or does Requiem use a, a pike or is it just a spear? Uh, it's a spear. You could use a pike. It is a big two-handed spear, though. That's just a pike, isn't it? It's a. I, I, I don't what is think the difference uh, stat wise. Uh, uh, pikes, yeah, a, a pike. Uh, it does a d10 damage and it gives you reach. So you could actually just like peek into a room and stab from 10 feet away. Okay, well then why don't I have one? Because oh, that's a martial weapon and it's ha I have to have simple weapons because we're babies. Mm -hmm. No. No, you're yeah. a paladin. You can use You're a paladin. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. Yeah, you're a paladin. Weapons. You got paladin has good proficiency in all martial weapons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shit, okay. <laughs> why don't I have one of those? <laughs> It suddenly, suddenly your spear, you, you, you pop out a telescopic bit on the end and it becomes a full-length bike. <laughs> or we That's can- or I have you, an extendo spear. <laughs> or you can just do it later. It's I been a pike all along, but we're just too polite to say it's that spear. <laughs> it's a pike, but like, half of the shaft got broken. Damn. Yeah, you've got a broken pike, so it's a spear. So it's but a later spear. On, when, when... Later on, we can get it repaired. Mm -hmm. So are we going, or are you nice. going in that room? Oh, that room got tied up. Let's let's go around the corner. Okay. Yeah. This is just an episode of Scooby-Doo. This is just an episode of... I don't like that initiative just popped up. Oh. I clicked on the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. Anything ukidus and spookiness? There's nothing bad around this corner, guys. Of course not. All right. What is that? Nothing. 
What is that? Nothing. What is that? What is that? <laughs> some hey, people are just guys. having a bit. Some people are just having a bit of a fight. Oh. Some people are just having a bit of a fight. So in one corner is just this massive burly dude with what appears to be a club shaped like an oversized cricket bat. Glory, governor. <laughs> yeah, who is just beating <laughs> the nice. shit out of this cloaked figure with no skull flesh. Oh. Yeah. Skeleton man. More more red skull than skeleton man. Ooh. And yeah, yeah. Upon hearing you guys come in, the the half skeleton man just dodges out of the way of this dude, and like the cricket bat club just goes slamming into the one dry patch of the floor here, and he's just fucking off, knives oh. and all. Oh, hell no. Uh, should we, do we, should we see, see something? Do we see any magic or anything with our magic eyes? With your magic eyes. Um, is detect magic? It lasts 10 minutes. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, it's blocked by stone. Yeah. Oh, I don't uh... like that. I don't like hearing that. Let me see what you can sense. Shall we move swiftly before that individual has a chance to reposition? I make a by all means gesture. You're the ones with the swords and shields. Fine. I'm gonna move forward. Yeah, do we just gingerly sploosh forward? <laughs> just gingerly sploosh forward. And a uh, bittersweet anguish as you're heading in that direction, you're getting like a. There's a point where you hit in that hallway where you're getting a bit of a magical vibe, like to the south, to the of, south you. of you. Uh, okay, where exactly? Like, oh, that way? Like, 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 bearish. Hmm, what kind of magic? Because I can tell. You can tell, schools. What is, what is uh, sorry? You're getting a bit of an evocation vibe. Okay. What has this big guy been doing since the other dude dodged away? This big guy has been catching his breath. Oh, <laughs> and is just kind of like stealing himself up to go charging in to take this motherfucker down. He's been stabbed a bunch. Ooh, man, okay. What does he look like? Let me post a picture. Ooh. I will also communicate about the evocation magic and like point in the direction. Cool. It's just a big, mean looking dude. Oh, he's a oh. big old boy. Big old boy. Big old boy. How big so, is this, this is where boy? they got the dude to make Pyramid Head. What is that pinned to his chest? It does look like some sort of badge. It does look like someone might have just been cog slapping, though. <laughs> That's oh. just a, this is a steampunk. <laughs> this is how he do. Yeah, Sorry, just... cog slapping is my new favorite word. That's an actual steampunk term. Thank you oh, for coming really? to my TED talk. Oh, I'm yeah. so glad. 
That's just when people have like random cogs and random places on their outfits that don't make any fucking sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is this fellow an ally? Is he someone else fighting these cultists? Or he I'm... could be one of the cultists that likes to kill, and the other one could be one of the different cultists that likes one of the other bad murder things. That's also quite possible. Has he has he noticed us yet? Like, does he see us and is just ignoring us? He's seeing you and giving you guys just a stare. Uh, he's, he's he's like got a hand pressed to, to his gut to try and keep the blood in. <laughs> it really wants to get out, but he wants to keep it in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the badge on his chest does it hold any sort of significant meaning, or would that be a roll? That would be a history roll. May I roll that as well? May yes, you I can. Roll that as well. Oh god, that's a dat 20 on Istilu. Holy crap around. And because of... Oh, wow. okay. <laughs> the man oh, with man. no proficiency in it rolls not 20. Yep. Oh, hell yeah, I'll win. Oh, are we coming up here with a 21? I whisper whatever I hear into Istilu, like <laughs> Jedi Yoda backpack into his ear. <laughs> oh yeah, because you are on yeah. still. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that badge is like a rendition of the house crest of Vanthapur. It's another one of the um Duke Vanthapur is one of the council that's here. You know that she's in charge of, like, city planning and stuff like that? That's as much as you guys would know from your exposure to politics and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. So, so. either either from that family or has stolen it from somebody who belongs to that family. But he's not immediately hostile. Constantly. He's not immediately hostile. He's more concerned that whoever he was fighting might come back. Mm-hmm. And he's shooting a look at you guys and just going, I got no idea who you are, but are you going to help or are you just going to fucking stand there? Well, if it means more cultists don't get to harm innocent people, then yes, we'll help. <laughs> And he starts wading through the water. Uh, I guess, do we want to follow or do we want to investigate whatever um, Sweet was sensing through the walls? I mean, they're kind of in the same direction. If there's a more immediate threat, we should deal with this danger first. And that fellow doesn't seem to be in particularly good health. He may need our assistance. That's true. All right. Hang on, Arwen. Yeah. Mush. Mush my hossy. Yeah. And... Yeah, bittersweet anguish because you were curious about that sense of magic that you were getting. In this whole alcove right here that's raised above the water level, there's a whole bunch of chests. Mm. Oh, you might have just got all our attention. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Evocation magic, though. Evocation magic, yeah. Yeah. Traps? Traps. Uh, Bad news. Oh, bad news, fam. I don't think any of us are rogues. <laughs> no, somehow in the six people that we have here, none of us are rogues. We, we can loot later. <laughs> you guys do have a ring of keys. That is true. That is true. That Yeah, there are four really big chests that have been <sighs> put in there. That can be They're... for later. That can be for it's later. Still, you feel like 
gripping fingernails in your back as I'm just just refusing to it. I'm just looking forward. I'm not looking at the chests or the shiny things at all. Just think that's, of it like that's... this. Once we clear all these dead things out, you won't have to worry about getting stabbed in the back when you open a chest. True. That's dessert for after we've done combat. Uh, is it possible to see wet footprints and which way they might have gone on the stone? It's pretty small. Yeah. Yep, you can see some wet footprints that go up to this closed door. If you went this way. It's not so much distinct footprints as it is just a trail of water. Is Temperance still up in the front, Gray? Not Temperance, Requiem, Jesus. Yeah, very different character that you've never met. Very strange. Um, have heard the name. Yes, you have. Uh, yeah, uh, Rek is still up front. Being big as hell. I just haven't moved the token. You feel it. Rekia We're going over to the right. Up front. Oh, we're going to the right. I thought this big motherfucker was in front. He's hurt. He's, He's very hurt. injured. Ugh, I, but we don't care about him. He's expendable. <laughs> he might be. He might be the most important He's character gone. in this dungeon. Um, can I do a quick medicine check on him? Sure. Like, are, are any of these, like, at the moment, life-threatening? Go for it. Real quick medicine check. Triage this man. He is, com compared to how fucked up you were earlier, as a baseline, he's looking better than you were. No, yeah, well, that's comforting. At yeah. least a handful of hit points. Yeah. Not doing great. Has taken a couple of abdominal stab wounds and is probably in a whole lot of pain. But not immediately life-threatening. Cool. Just looking at this dude, he makes me think of Bane. Oh yeah, like Bane Bane, not Bane Bane. Mm-hmm. Batman Bane. Yeah. Kick kick in the door with my I was born in the darkness, Bane. <laughs> with my, with my... <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you have food? Um, no, I have I have? have I have chicken feet. You have chicken feet? What? <laughs> This is the first I'm hearing about your chicken feet. I posted it in my character description. I have chicken it, feet. It was in VC it, trash box, to be fair. Ah, uh, yes. Well, and I got up. All right. So, things things you find. There was there is an older man with a bowl of soup that is now on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Beside him are just like pantry shelves and like big crates that are half full of stuff. It seems like this person was enjoying some sort of lunch and you've interrupted it. Uh, but he's alone. He's alone, yeah. I'm sorry, this, okay, I could not see what was up with his face, and I thought he had, like, worms coming off of him. No, that's just a beard. <laughs> it's just a very, very windy beard. Yeah, so he really ought to take better care of it. And it's uh, it strikes you as a bit weird that he's just sitting here enjoying his lunch as people were fighting to the death outside. Maybe he's deaf. What's his reaction as soon as the door's kicked open? Panic. <laughs> uh, do I see any magic? On this dude, let me see. Or in the room. Uh, in the room now.
<laughs> I need to check things. Uh, can you post the detect magic thing again? Or I can just scroll up. Uh, yeah. Any object in the area that bears magic. Alright, no, you do not. Sense any magic immediately coming from this person. Mm. I'm still gonna, like, charge in my room, like, Get down on the ground! <laughs> <laughs> he does. He lays down in the soup. <laughs> I do like the full like clear of the room. Yeah. <laughs> Slice the pie. <laughs> Slice the pie. Pull out my manacles, manacle this man. Jesus Christ. Leave me alone. I'm a cop. <laughs> you're, you're the only one here who's not a cop. That's actually true. Factual. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else has badges. That's fine, but my character has a badge from God. <laughs> you pastor and cop. Yo, yo. Alright, alright. So, so he's just down on the ground. And Lissa. Lissa, you just... Mm -hmm hear the guy that's right behind you just exhale just a very pained huff of air and you can see like next to his form just and seeing them up close it's not I'm a good scene there. with the fleshless skull and everything just has a dagger buried deep into this guy's mass <laughs> Lost that man as soon as he appears. All right, let's roll some initiatives. Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, do All right, let me clear it first. Yeah. All right. Okay, I will roll with real boy dice and then replace whatever yes. I get. If you like. Oh, I clicked, but it didn't work for me, so that's cool. Uh, 16. I'm trying to make sure that it reads that I fucking clicked on my thing, because it never does. It would have been perfect if you, you'd you kept what you rolled in the Roll20 chat, because I I'm on your back. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a Mortlock Vanthampar? We'll find out. That sounds like some sort of terrible mix of a vampire and a demon. I'm That's the dude? The skull, the skull head man is the death head. Unless uh -huh. we're fighting a big mob that we just haven't seen yet. Oh, I don't Master, know. Master of souls. Souls. souls! No, thank you. He's just a man who really loves soup. <laughs> Is that Soup Man? Is he the master of <laughs> Yes, that's Soup Man. <laughs> I got him down on the ground and chained before anything <laughs> You don't have that's time true. to do that, dude. This is a <laughs> combat situation. You were just reaching into your bag for some man. Okay, I still have him on the ground, though. That <laughs> yeah, he's still starts. on the ground. <laughs> he's, he flings the hot soup in your face. Take D4 of fire damage. <laughs> I already <laughs> drew on the with ground. The nice try. <laughs> Scoops up soup. You've seen this tactic before. What he water bends the soup. He has magical powers. <laughs> <laughs> He's consumed. Like the Master of soul. Souls sounds like something mm -hmm. that we shouldn't be fighting at level what? two. Like like you'll remember that uh that big bowl of 
souls from the Scooby Doo movie. Yeah. Where they they go underground and it's Ron Atkinson has the yeah. uh, big bowl of souls. Ron Atkinson who is of course uh, uh, Scrappy Doo. And there's uh, a no, big he's bowl not. of he's souls. Shaggy. What? He's not Scrappy, is he? Rowan Atkinson. Yes, he is. It's oh. Scrappy in the in the in the man suit. We watched this movie together, Gray. <laughs> You don't remember Scrappy Doo being in the man suit? <laughs> Mr. Bean oh, wait, in the man wait, wait, suit. I forgot Mr. Bean, okay. Yeah. So anyway. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So we're fighting Mr. Bean in a dungeon. <laughs> You're fighting Mr. Bean in a dungeon. Here, I'm just gonna be right back, real quick break. <laughs> oh lord. I will attempt to do the same. I'm so amused that I can't seem to roll above a 15 for initiative. I have a negative one. I could theoretically roll a zero initiative. I am excited for this, though. Hopefully we don't die. I mean, maybe? I still have zero spells, so this isn't going to be fun for me. Same, zero spells. Can trips, can trips, can trips. Sure, put the same on over and over again. All right, I'm back. Gotta make sure I come into a fight well hydrated. All right, are we good? Why, Why? I think Dan's still not here. Ah. He's further down on the turn list. He said he would be like a second. Is um, Mortlock ahead of me, by the way? Mortlock is the one that's directly behind you. Okay. That's injured man. I, I thought you I thought you rolled more, but I thought you rolled more than me. No, let's say you've got the twenty one point fourteen. So who got the natural twenty? Oh what? Oh yeah. Maltlock rolled twenty two. Oh. Why the fuck is it showing up low? Alright, we'll wait for Dan to come back though. Uh, hold on. It has Alaric with having rolled the same thing as... He rolled with real dice. Oh, gotcha. Yep, putting it still before Requiem because your dexterity is better. I am not very good at moving. I am too thick. Bayek. Also, I'm not. Also, I'm not on the initiative. That sounds like a personal problem. Click on your token and roll I, it. <laughs> I did. Oh, whatever. I'll re-roll. Oh no. <laughs> Like your original one, oh, I think. You're... 15? Oh okay. no, sorry. Okay, alright, cool, cool, cool. Beautiful girl lady. Alright, so getting into it. Cricket bat injured man is just going to wheel around and do a smash.
Oh. Okay, 17 to hit. Just the 17 hit. The 17 does. Okay. That's good to hit. So that is. Don't forget to click on the. You can click on attack and it'll give you the. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So we'll say 12 points of bludgeoning damage. It's a good solid hit. Nice. All right. Yep. Does manage to nail him the once. Lissa, you're up. Okay. I will just stare at Skeletal Man. Alright, intelligence save. Why do I slowly imagine your eyes getting bigger on your face when that happens? <laughs> Alright, gets advantage. Yeah, so that's a 21. Unfortunately, nothing. All right, so Soupman on the ground. Soupman is going to say a word of power and vanish. Oh, okay. He's going to say a word of power and vanish. All right, Alric. The word is minestrone. <laughs> An ancient. That's just what substance. he says, and he needs to be brave in his soul. <laughs> minestrone. <soup>. Minestrone. <laughs> your your mind yep. fills with thoughts of minestrone. Yep, you are filled with determination. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna blah 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 this guy. I think. That's the sound of the police and all that stuff. Wait, no, that's the other one. Uh, okay, I'm gonna roll some roll an eldritch blast if that's cool. Go for it. Just a d20. But I need to naturally know now all my attack modifiers rather than just clicking mm. the. It's plus six. Uh, ooh, that's sixteen plus six. That is uh, twenty-two to hit. Yeah, that's gonna fucking hit. That will be four. Ooh, that's max damage, baby. That's fourteen points of force damage. Shit, man. That was a tasty little zero on the D10. Always like to see those. Uh -huh. All right, yeah, yeah. You nailed this. So just this. on instinct. Pow, pow, pow. Yeah, yeah. You nailed this guy right in his bony face. Nice. And it just blinks at you and grimaces. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm then going to move around, try to get a bit further away, go around the corner here, clear the hallway a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, bittersweet anguish, what are you doing? Actually, I'm going to peek, I'm going to go around the corner slightly. All right, I'm gonna move to there. Can I see this man? Still, kind of. Um, you would need to move a bit further. Okay. Do I see anything in the hallway? Uh, ahead of me. Oh, like over here. Yeah. You can see some statues, but there's no people around. Oh, are the statues magical? Yes. Oh! Oh, you're no, you you're more than thirty feet away. <laughs> you don't sense anything. Oh well, I'm gonna move my last five feet then. Okay. Yes, these statues are magical. <laughs> and now I can see this this man. Yes, you can see this man. All right, I'm gonna this drop. man. I'm gonna drop my shield and 
I'm going to make a grabbing motion in front of me and shove my hand out, and I'm going to cast a sacred flame. Hey. Hey. Dex save. Oh, yeah, no. Crit. <laughs> oh. Mm hmm. Yep, you you managed to light up a little bit of the water, but nothing more, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Rip. All right, it's still in. All right, I'm going to move. All right, you're flanking. So and I'm gonna advantage. I'm gonna stab him with my rapier. All right. Yeah, that is a fifteen. A fifteen is gonna hit. Good to know. Nice damage. Nice. Oh, oh, is that Max? That's, That's close to max. One away from max. God, that fucking duelist fighting style is nasty. Mm -hmm. Especially at low levels. Holy shit. It's Estelil. It's super unnerving the way his head rotates around about 170 Ooh. degrees to look at you, and it's just grinning. <laughs> I grin right back because he is undead. He does not unnerve me. All right, Requiem. This is the only attack I'll get to make before I have to leave. Um, oh, make sure to smite on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to smite on it. Um, Everybody is, like, far away, I guess. Yeah. I will move for this motherfucker, even though everybody's ganging up on him, but that's fine. I'll move over to this motherfucker. The gump, Pacham. What is the uh, Divine Smite gives you a, an extra D8, right? 2D8, if you manage to hit. But that's, that's you get to choose after you've made the attack. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. That seems incorrect. No. It's pretty powerful. That's, that's what makes paladins really good at what they do. Yeah. Hell yeah. Do 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 Pagomph. 19 to hit. Yeah. Plus a ha ha 2d8, you said? Yeah. If you want to spend that first level slot. D8. I do. That's an extra six. That's 12 points of damage. Noise. That's a very good stab. <laughs> a holy good, stab. A good holy thrust. Hot. Okay. Uh, that was it. And now I have to go, but it's been a pleasure, my dudes. <gasps> okay. Pleasure. Right. Love you, Gray. Bye. It's okay. Bye. All right. So, Istalil, you're the one that stabbed him very effectively. And that look that they were giving you earlier. Mm hmm. I'm going to need you to make a wisdom save. Ooh. Does this have anything to do with being charmed or put to sleep? Nope. Okay, just wondering if my fey ancestry would come into play here. Unfortunately, it will not. Ooh, that's a very good wisdom save. Nice. You, you have seen horrors before. 
this is nothing to be unexpected. You knew what you were getting into coming down here. You ain't scared of this thing. No. All right. He is, however, going to try to stab you a couple of times, though, regardless of that working. So 22 to hit. The 22 hits, the 11 misses. Okay. Oh, or shit, that was... Ignore that. All right, you're actually going to take 12 points of piercing damage. Excuse me? 12 points of piercing damage. Oh, no. That's that quite really a lot hurts. of damage. Mm -hmm. Bye bye, all the health that I literally just got back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are not moving, though. They've got a lot of people around on all sides. Arwen. Okay. Um, so, being on Istoril's back, do I have flanking? It would technically be in the same space. Mm -hmm. You you could get off and like flank opposite Requiem. Uh, I would say trying to like do any sort of melee attack from on somebody's back is going to true. impose disadvantage. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do a melee attack anyway. I'm going to uh, just cast Chill Touch. Okay. Uh, where is it? There we go. Oh, take that one. Oh, 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 no. And he has well, disadvantage you... against me until the end of my next time, I think. Can't regain hit points. That's useful. Oh, All oops. Right. Uh, yeah, if you hit an undead, disadvantage against you until the end of my next time. Okay, I'm going to stay here. All right. Martlock is going to do more smash. Hell yeah. Ooh, those are both going to hit. Oof, 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 oof. Yeah, total of 19 points of damage. Those are just good, solid hits that are connecting with this guy. All right, and he's going to stay where he is. Lissa, you're up. Okay. I'm going to say sorry to Alaric and climb up to sit on his shoulders. All right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, and then I'm going to point at Skeletal Dude and try and cast Ray of Frost. All right, that's going to hit. Hell yeah. Make that boy. Cold. And that's me. All right. Alaric. Okay. I don't know about the guy. He's this this man's is the only uh person that I have in my sight, so I'll continue to Eldritch Blast. And we will roll some dice. That is not good. That is only an 11 to hit. Unfortunately, that is not going to Percy, hit. Percy, you son of a bitch. You let me down. Can't believe you did this to me. Uh, I will stick where I am. I'll keep an eye out for any other any other dangers, any other... Uh, do I hear any... Um, do I hear the door that was uh, secured behind us rattling at all? You do, in fact. <laughs> I do, in fact. Okay, I'll, I'll shout that out to the group. I'll let them know. Oh, I'm dead, Lord of Souls. That's great. Uh, but yeah, that's that's basically me. Unless, uh, um, listen, do you want us to reposition? I'm fine. All right. That's, uh, actually, on second thought, if there are zombies coming this way, uh, he shifts slightly around to to the to the entrance of the the lower alcove. 
All right, cool. Getting on actual solid ground. Yeah. All right, bittersweet anguish. How hurt does this thing look? Hard to tell. Objectively, is missing face flesh. So that's an injury. Or is probably deliberate. Mm, fuck. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get close to it because I'm scared of what happens if it stabs me. Do it. Get up in there. You've got armor. Yeah. Oh, not very good armor. You have a shield and everything. Not very good because I have fucking bad dexterity and it drags my armor class down. Too bad. Get in there. Ugh, fucking. All right. I will move in. Flank on the other side. And, uh, watch him. Oh. Oh. Is it gonna work? Oh. Oh, it's not bludgeoning damage, it's slashing damage. I forgot to change that. Okay, right. that's the fox. Yeah. All right, that is going to hit, though. All right, yeah, you managed to stab your falx right into this guy. <laughs> and just, like, drag it along a couple of ribs as you withdraw it. Nice. Um... Yeah, that's my turn. All right, it's still Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be a fancy boy, and I'm gonna roll with dice this time. All right. Uh, I still have advantage, correct? Yeah, you're still flanking. Sorry, uh, just renewing myself because I haven't rolled by dice in a while. Mood. It's like, okay, I'm going to roll. It's like, wait, what do I add? How do I do? Oh, no, I have to do mathematics now. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, that is a 14 and an 18. So 18 plus 7. Yeah, that's going to hit. All right, and that is a 1d8 and a 1d4. Four. Oh shit, no wait, there's a lot there. I'm just gonna hit my <laughs> No wait, I'll just go ahead and roll. Oh gosh, that's a lot. Alright, one yeah, D8. You gotta roll the, all those dice together. Mm -hmm. Uh so that's a four plus two is six plus uh five is eleven damage for the sword and a one D four for the lightning damage. That is a three lightning damage. So 14 damage altogether. All right. How would you like to do this? Nice. Yay! I'm, <laughs> I'm going to um, take my rapier and I'm going to slide it straight through his face. Yeah. 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 You managed to get the rapier just straight through that grinning skull and. Mortlock kind of has to dodge out of the way because you got it really deep in there. <laughs> but yeah, just spasms around the blade for a moment and then just goes limp. Gonna lean a little heavily on the wall next to me. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine it takes you... A, a bit to wrench it free. You kind of have to wiggle a little bit. Yep. Still has a lightning damage on it. I am not letting go of that sword just in case. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Requiem. Um, Are there other obvious threats at the moment? Aside from the bashing door with the song, with the undead down the hall. Yeah. Requiem is going to start making their way in that direction. Just after taking a look at this guy to make sure that they really are dead, just give them a bit of an experimental spear poke. <laughs> and then just start heading in the direction. All right. Arwen. Uh, oh. <clears throat> if you think, um, I would, uh, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this because I'm going to suggest to Istoliel that we head that way. Um, and I will prepare a toll the dead if there's any hostiles that I see whilst we're traveling that way. But I'll stay here for now until Istoliel moves. Okay. All right. Mortlock is just going to look around at the group and go, All right. Thanks. I'm sticking with you guys. I don't know who else is here. He's going to start moving that way. All right. Let's. Uh, Um, yeah, I'll just stay with Alaric and prepare an action to Ray of Frost if I see something dangerous. Alright. Please hold, I need to look up a thing. Mm-hmm. While it's happening, we'd like to thank our sponsors for tonight. Pepsi Cola. Now introducing brand new taste, Pepsi Pineapple and Cheese. It's an eau de voir in a bottle. We've made a terrible mistake. Please buy our product. <laughs> no. <laughs> we will not validate your terrible mistake as Please. consumers. Please? This no, is still, this is still uh, this is still old script from the advertisement. Please, no. What a terrible shame. Mm. This 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 sponsored segment brought to you by Coca Cola. It was a smear campaign. Mm. All right, Alaric. Uh, knees up, get get jogging. Move my move my sweet ass through the water. Gotta go fast. Ooh, gotta go as fast as possible, which isn't particularly fast. Ooh, that's thirty feet to there, and I will sure I'll dash. Just why not? Get in the corner there. Ooh, Melissa <laughs> bounces off of the wall and clips through the wall. <laughs> When you yeet your backpack away. <laughs> yeah. I, he stops too quickly and it just goes. Mm -hmm. wrong. Oh, you guys would be terrified about how some of these kids at my work treat their backpacks. They come into the cafeteria and we have baskets for them to put their backpacks in. Sometimes from like 20 feet away, they will launch their backpacks into the air. Oh. No. To make it into these baskets. Well, no. that's your guys' fault for having it be baskets. <laughs> There's an mm. instinct uh, in every brain, but especially in a child's brain, where it's like, ooh, uh, Kobe, though. Um, I guess I will move. There and another 30 feet. Move to there. 
All right, Istalu. All right, uh, Istalil will go ahead and move. That's 30 feet. I guess he'll go ahead and dash. Probably not a smart idea, but you know what? Let's do it. Yeah, well, like, well, I guess mm -hmm. we're all heading this way now. <laughs> yeah, this is this is where the action is going. All right, Requiem is just looking at the group, like, we ready to do this? <laughs> Kicks down the door with her hooved foot. And just immediately gets burning hands. <laughs> Oh, oh no! <laughs> yep. So that both, pretty veil. Uh huh. So both bittersweet anguish and requiem are gonna need to make deck saves. Uh, that's that's a fun move. Is is <laughs> running running your own PC into a prepared spell that you've prepared. <laughs> <laughs> requiem is just fastest. She went first. Um, oh. Next oh, Requiem. Oh, it's Requiem fine did. I take half the, it's fine, I take half damage. Yeah, and Requiem takes a quarter damage. Oh, that's true. You're both tieflings. Hell yeah. Fun and house. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. How much damage? I have to open up several sheets. Please hold on. 3d6, right? All right, so 13 points of fire damage reduced to 6. And reduced to... Reduced to 3 for Requiem. Get fucked, bitch. Yep, Ooh. get fucked. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, that's I like how that's the same amount of fire damage as well. Just put turning it right back. Oh god. Okay. Dex save on their end. Is that the tiefling one or is that your um It's my domain one. It's your domain. Okay. Fun domain. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yep, no, yep, you set the soup man on fire. <laughs> Burn for your soup related crimes. Yes. Alright, so 13 points of fire. Alright, Requiem still gets to go though. After kicking open that door, getting mildly incinerated. What the fuck can Requiem do? Requiem does not have any spell slots left. So just do a hit. Take yeah, hit. so just do do a hit. Woo! Real big hit. One That's off of the big. Hit. One off of the big naughty. That's six points of piercing damage. That's a respectable hit. You guys are level two. That's a respectable hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Stabs this dude and gets out of the way <laughs> for other people to do the same. All right, Arwen. Okay, if Superman is within visible sight. Oh yeah, Requiem can see the skeletons rising from <laughs> beneath the water as well. Oh. I, I'd like Superman to make a wisdom save, please, as I will uh, cast Toll the Dead. All right. You see his hurt. arm sticking out. Hmm. 
So if it's been damaged, yeah, seven. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a bad roll. So seven points of necrotic damage. Uh, and I will stay on Isola's back. Let's be done. All right. Uh, coming up. It's like, oh, yep, excuse me, pardon me. Excusey, excusey. Can't quite get all the way up in there, so he's just going to stay and prepare to do a smash if anybody tries to leave through here. Nice. All right, Lissa. Um, I assume I can't see anything from here, so I'll just <laughs> keep preparing an action to shoot if I see. And that's it. All right. All right, so on this person's turn, they are going to again vanish. No. Bitch. <laughs> Leaving you to deal with the zombos. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Do Zombos have a turn order? I should roll for them. They rolled really bad. It's pretty bad. All right, Alaric. Okay. You just saw a burst of fire come through here. I don't know whether to do something really dumb, but really fun, or just keep doing it. Which plus? Dumb but fun. Dumb but dumb fun. But fun. You go for go for dumb but fun. And what I'm gonna do. Uh, is I'm gonna get to I'm gonna use movement to get to around uh like here or so. Uh which I think is actually let me measure it out because this is this is important. Uh so twenty feet to there. Uh and say to Lissa, he kind of gets like a look in his eyes as these zombies rise up uh from the other room and kind of like turns to Lissa and will say, You may want to vacate your uh, perch for the moment. So I'm gonna. I don't know if I can like allow that to to happen. Just kind of like drop off my back for a sec. Sure. Sure. Oh, and you can probably see them, so you can do your thing. Yeah. Yeah, you can. So we can do Lissa's thing first. Yeah. What the fuck are these guys AC? Yeah, no, unfortunately. Yeah. And I'll drop. You freeze a little bit of the water. Okay, I'm gonna look around, consider that what I'm gonna do is very stupid, and then do it anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go here, so that's that's my last ten feet of movement, uh, and then I'm going to very delicately shut the door behind me. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then you hear a lot of everyone on the other side. You hear Alaric um, make some very strange incantations. And Lido, I'm just going to whisper to you the spell that I'm casting. Okay. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's... Oh, I didn't oh, roll good, fun. but... <laughs> that's a fun. Okay. Are these motherfuckers resistant to that, though, is my question. They might be. I'd forgotten that that was the <laughs> type of damage it did. They're not. Rolled. They're oh, not. <laughs> I did roll really badly, just so everyone knows. This definitely wasn't worth it, but it was okay. fun. Strength saves. What the fuck did you roll? <laughs> <laughs> I just love that closed door and then oh. horrifying eldritch noises. Yep. Very delicate door closing. Uh, it's 14, your... so the, the 14 first and the last 18. one fail. Okay. Is it half on a save? It is, yes. Okay, so the, the 
couple of them will take one point. Of take one. God, I'm so glad I did this, guys. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Christ. I love how polite you were about it. You just walk mm -hmm. through, shut the door behind you. Yep. Cool. Okay. So after I've done that, <laughs> I'll just open the door again. I can't step to the side, but the door is open again. Oh my goodness. Yeah, opens the door again. And just, you, from what you guys could hear, there was just some whispers and a lot of rattling bones. <laughs> yep. All right. Bittersweet Anguish, what you doing? Uh, I'm going to move into the room. You see Alaric with a look of immediate regret on his face as he realizes where he is. <laughs> uh, I will, like step around like squeeze kind of around him and like pat his shoulder with a it's all right but like kind of pat like we've all been there um duck my head so i don't like catch on the the very low probable ceiling and um look down the line and then i'm gonna uh, smash a zombo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Background noises from somewhere. <gasps> no! Oh, no! Oh, no! You try so hard to smack this skeleton. But it's just not working. Oh. An attempt was made. Um, and then... Uh, do I heal or do I wait? How are you- how is your health, Dan? I'm full health, but it, I'm about okay. to not be full health, so don't worry okay. about it. Okay, I will- I will wait then. I will- I will kind of try and get their attention. If I can, you you just beat your shields and yeah, make yourself start... look like a threat. Yeah, basically. All right, it's still little. Okay. Uh, at this point, I will gently drop off um, my little backpack here, since I don't want you in danger. <laughs> okay, I get off. I mean, do you want to go into the room of demon thingies with me? No, no, I can see one, so that'll do me. <laughs> All right, so uh, 5, 10, 15, 20... And I'm going to run this skeleton that's right next to me clean through with my rapier. All right, go for it. That'll hit. Thirteen oh, damage. Man. All right. Yep. 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 You you stab it real good and just wiggle the rapier around inside the rib cage, and it just kind of falls apart. <laughs> Yay! Ripperoni. All right, All right Requiem. God, this is getting into a crowded room. It, I shouldn't have gone in. <laughs> um... Requiem does not have cantrips, so they need to go in and do a stab. Just push through me, it's fine. Excuse me, pardon me.
That's a 24 to hit. Oof. Five points of piercing damage. Yeah, they're going to hit the furthest one. Just to leave the other ones for you guys. It's still standing, but barely. All right, Arwen. Okay, I'm going to uh, just do a uh, step inside a little bit. Uh, so 5, 10, 15... Uh, I can't really get anywhere. Uh, there, there's there's four people in there. We don't need to be in there. I'm going to stay here and prepare a toll the dead should any enemy come through the door or behind us. Um, so I'll hold an action and that'll just be it. All righty. Uh, let's see. All right. It is time for the skeleton rave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll say that a little bit for everybody. Everybody's attacking to the southwest of them. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. yep. So Requiem, Bittersweet Anguish, and Alaric are all going to get attacked. Swipes. Swipes. And we'll go top to bottom. Oh, uh, I get I have hit. to get the best one. All right. Does I think, Requiem get hit? I, think, I don't think Requiem does. I think they've got Chain. Requiem is OK. Uh, they they meet my us. AC, so okay. If I had a 10 dexterity, I would be fine, but... Oh. Ow! That hurts! Alright, so 7 points of piercing to you, Bittersweet Anguish, and 5 to you, Alric. Mm-hmm. It's happened. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and the one is just gonna move very slightly. Alright. Where luck is just going, like, has to really shove you away, yep. Alaric. Oh, yes, no, please, by all, with, by the, all. with the one hand, like, is staying essentially where he is just to take the, or, no, he would have to, like, force Can he, can way. he, I'm, I, I'm alright with being shoved if he wants to use the movement to shove me. Yeah, he will. He'll shove you into the corner of the room. Ah! <laughs> alright. <laughs> and he's just gonna try to do a smash. We'll say he can only really reach the one, because he did have to force his way in here. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, that, that second hit was a lot of overkill. It just, like, from the skull, like, knocks the skull down into the rib cage, <laughs> And then it's Beautiful. just, the pile of bones is just floating on top of the water. Alright, Liss is up. Um, I'll move next to my buddy Arwin and say, hey buddy. And then I'll just hold my action to land sliver if something else comes about. Two of you are so ready right now. Mm -hmm. So ready, just chest deep in water. All right, Alaric. Uh, in absolute shock that these fiends would dare draw such noble blood as his, uh, Alaric will do an, do an Eldritch Blast to the one that is uh, just to the right of William. Mm -hmm. Well, well you got a clear shot. You got a clear shot at that one. <laughs> I do. I probably can't. The other one probably has cover, right? Because of how yeah. crowded it is in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, it's super crowded. We'll go with a standard old Eldritch Blast in that case. Uh, with this die. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Plus six to this. Oh no, it's a five again. It's eleven. Oh no. Does eleven? Does eleven? Attempt? No. Oh, I'm gonna no. push myself. Push my way out of the room. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Shuffle, shuffle. You okay there, bud? Splash, splash. 
I just imagine you being like dramatic and like doing like yeah. the wrist flick as soon as you like wade through people. Mm. Yeah, he he's like he's like holding a, uh, a a hand to his uh to his um to his side, and then he just looks up at it and like shows it to the two from across the doorway. It's just blood. <laughs> it's not that much blood, but it's blood. <sighs> you like a sad look. <sighs> <laughs> and that's my turn. All right. Bittersweet anguish, what's she doing? <laughs> Can I move? Skeleton party. Stomp these skeleton bones into the ground. Well, wade through these skeleton bones. It's like it's like being on a beach and there's driftwood. <laughs> <laughs> bones float. They're mostly hollow. R really? Oh no. Really? Oh no. You're gonna do me like this, Roll20? Roll20 gonna do your dirty. Bonus action. Sanctuary on myself. Alright, cool. Alright, Istalil. Istalil is gonna do some pretty elf dancing. Was, did he go to elf practice to get that elf <laughs> His goddess is a goddess of dance. He is inspired. So he did go to elf practice. Good to know. He is going to move there and attack the one between him and Sweet. All right, cool. All right, 23 hits. Oof. Oof, oof. So much damage. Yeah, yeah. Much like you did with that other guy, the rapier just goes straight through this motherfucker's skull. It is slain. All right. Re regret Flourish and a salute. Mm-hmm. Requiem feels inspired. <laughs> I'm gonna try to spear this other one. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh nice. Nice. Yeah, manages to get the spear directly through one of the eye sockets. It's a nice little bit of symmetry. <laughs> You're not sure if she is the high-fiving type, but as she looks at you, Istilil, you get the impression that it's a thing she wants to do, but is too afraid to do. <laughs> okay. All right, so for the moment, you guys are good. Hey, baby. You have no idea where Soupman went. No. Teleporting Soupman. <laughs>